Fight fans all over the world, it's Daddy P on the corner in the corner boxing. What? Hey, I'm back at you. Listen, it looks like Vane's Mart Erosion is getting the nod for the Triple G fight. Man, look at here. 154 pound fighter who has been beaten by probably all the upper echelon of 154. I think, well, he he been beat by who? Like Charlo, Ares Landy, Lara. Uh, who else beat him, man? Andre beat him. So I don't know, man. Triple G, I understand you're trying to get your soft touch because you really still want to get that Canelo money. But, man, look here. <laughs> There's so many 160 pounders. Even if you go somewhere deep off in the top 10 or 15 or something, I know, 154 pounder who been laid off for almost two years and been beat by all the upper 154 pounders. Man, look, I don't know, Triple G, what you got going, man, but uh, you got to come a little better than that. But, hey, it's all up to him. That's on Triple G, man. Uh, to me, Triple G. You know, yes, he's fought Canelo. Yes, he's fought Danny Jacobs. But, I mean, to me, he needs to go ahead, man. Uh, if he's on a decline in his, well, if he's on a down slope from his prime, which it looks like he is, he needs to start working on his legacy. You can't fight people in a lower weight class and be working on your legacy, man. You got to, you know, if he want to be remembered for anything besides knocking out inferior fighters uh he really needs to work on his legacy to me i don't know but uh you know y'all let me know what y'all think about it man i don't know man it just <laughs> to me i think he can find somebody at 160 i mean you know he, he don't want darren chanko i mean i know you know hey yeah, that's a he feel like that's a risky fight he don't want no left handers because he ain't been getting ready for a left hander. So I understand like the Andre thing, whatever. Man, hey, rematch uh, Danny Jacobs or something, man. But that's a risky fight for him too. You know, Danny Jacobs ain't got no jitters no more. When he knocked Danny Jacobs down uh, after that, Danny Jacobs got up and said, if that's the best you can do, hey, I'm ready. So Danny Jacobs ain't got no card wells no more about him. So uh, that's a dangerous fight too. I know he don't want none of the Charlo juice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, to me, I'm going to be honest with you. And I heard somebody else say this. So I don't want to act like, you know, I'm the first one said it. Uh, I think 78 Sports said it. Man, look. Demetrius Andre has not been very active and the fight of the the last his last couple fights he he didn't look real good i mean when he came up to 160 the guy he fought he should have knocked him out you know what i'm saying he didn't knock him out cold k man look he he struggled against cold k to me i mean i don't know i don't know what y'all think but so it's like and i mean that's that's his last fights he ain't really been at, he ain't been at 160 campaigning like that. You know what I'm saying? That one fight against a fighter, you know, Alantez Fox. I mean, you know, I don't know, man. So, I mean, to me, Triple G should have took that fight. Because, you know, kind of last minute for Andre, you know, he ain't been fighting no you know, high level contenders, I mean, high level people at 160. And then, you know, he ain't been very active. And um, that's another story with, um, you know, I, there was a couple videos I commented on. I was in the comment section, you know, about uh, Andre. And man, listen, the thing with Andre, he do want that check, he want that payday, but he don't want to fight. Like, he's, he, you know, he said, oh, yeah, I fight Triple G. But he was asked by Billy Joe Saunders, oh, uh, I need some time to get ready. Uh, you know, hey, 
to me, Triple G should catch him right now. Really? If Triple G was really, if he had somebody that was in his ear that was being real with him, like, man, hey, they say you ain't been fighting no slick black fighters. Um, you need to go ahead and fight this guy. You know, he ain't been getting ready for, you know, the likes of you. He ain't been very active. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, man, I don't know. That That's, hey, I, I ain't the only one feel like that. I've I seen, like I say, I ain't the first one saying nothing like that. You know, I heard uh, 78 Sports mention something like that. A couple of other people who was, um, I think, on Famous Athletic on one of his videos was making some comments about the situation. Not about Triple G situation, but about, you know, Andre and how inactive he's been, you know, and how he ain't really fought no high-level opponents. So at 160, man, look. Triple G could find somebody, man, you know? And it really, if he want to work on his legacy, if he on his down slope of fighting, man, he need to be getting some type of names. Vane Marta Rosen is a, you know, that's, he basically not like a gatekeeper. All the upper 154 guys done beat him. So now it's like he'll be a good test for a 154 guy who trying to move up. You know, if you can't beat him, then you know you ain't ready yet or something like that. But not 160, and especially not somebody the likes of Triple G. Triple G is upper echelon 160. Matter of fact, he the champion. He who holds the most belt at 160. You know, and fighting a 154 pounder who basically a gatekeeper. Come on, man. But I don't, like I say, man, that's just that's just me. You know, a lot of people can disagree, but it is what it is. It's Daddy P on the corner in the corner boxing. Y'all let me know what it is. Out of there.